Vele mensen stellen zich de vraag of kreeften wel degelijk pijn kunnen voelen. Wat zegt de wetenschap? Daarover heb ik een gesprek gehad met Simon Bakheven, een wetenschapper, en vroeg hem hoe het zenuwstelsel van een kreeft nu eigenlijk in elkaar zit. Right. You wanted to know about the physiology. Mm-hmm. Now, it is different. It is different. And what I'll, I thought of doing, I'll explain it now, but I'll also do a diagram for you and send it over to you as well. Okay. What happens is that it doesn't have a central nervous system as we mm-hmm. do, okay. or other mammals do. Mm-hmm. What it does is that it has a ser- series of what they call ganglia. It comes just behind the eye, and then it goes from, from just behind the eye, and then it goes ventral, in the, in the not the top, but at the bottom. So there are all together, because this is segmented, and there are 13 ganglia right down from the top, the top one, and right down the bottom. The bottom now, each, each one of those ganglia is effectively independent of the others. They're connected, but they feel they are sentient in, in their own way. So that if, for example, you cut the head off, the rest of the thing is still sentient. In other words, the others are still feeling the problems. So just cutting the head is useless. It doesn't, doesn't solve any problems. Ik vroeg Simon ook welk gedrag erop kan wijzen dat de dieren pijn lijden. But I have a, a video done by Bristol University showing you how gradual boiling from zero to death, how desperate these are shore crabs are trying to get out of, of, of the thing. It's dreadful to see it. It's cruel. And it, but we had to do that to be able to show to people this is not just simple. It, it, it is, they are sentient creatures and they're trying to escape. Vroeger dachten we dat het een simpele reflex was en dat is niet pijnlijk. The general feeling in science before the turn of the century was that these animals act by reflex response. There's no need to infer pain. And I guess when I started, I thought that's probably what, what it's going to be. And so he knew that if he was really going to see if crustaceans felt pain, he couldn't just rely on a reflex response. Instead, he looked at two main behaviors. The first, avoidance learning. Elwood discovered that crabs would learn to avoid a negative stimulus after just a few trials, which was rapid learning. And I, and I don't think that can be explained by a reflex response. And the second, and perhaps more telling, behavior he examined was called a motivational trade-off. Elwood found that hermit crabs were less likely to get out of their shell after a negative stimulus if the shell they had was of good quality, meaning they were trading off the discomfort with the need to keep a good quality shell. So that isn't a reflex. If it was a reflex, we would see the same tendency to get out of the shell, irrespective of the other ecological conditions.